Well, hello, Pisces. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. It is, yes, this will be your last reading. <clears throat> Not only for December, but for 2020. Okay, are you guys ready? Okay. <laughs> so what I want to do is just go ahead and pull out some oracle oracle cards you know we're not going to go in here rough and tough no you know we're going to lay back get you know just always going to the new years with some positive energy like i did the other day um we're going to focus on the positives and then when we get into 2021 we're going to focus on what you're still holding on to but we're going to use some oracle cards at the end but let's go ahead and get to your reading Pisces. Okay, so we can't be going into in, into 2021 with that energy. <laughs> we cannot go in there with this type of energy. Let's just go ahead and just pull this last one, I guess, okay? A lot of mental conflict, a lot of fighting. Um, ooh, a lot of unhappiness, but you will be happy, okay? This is it's not going to last forever. I see, I see you being a, a little stressed, all right? And I was just talking about conflict earlier here with the five of wands. Ooh, we got to kind of like, this is like the fire reading. We got to cool it off, okay? So, I, I, you know, again, like I said, I do see that there is this element of you guys not feeling happy. Nine of Cups. I, I know when to read it when, it when when it's not happy and when it is happy, okay? <laughs> guys are not happy right now. OK, um, there is a sense of needing to communicate with someone. So whatever it is that you guys are feeling and thinking about, there is a sense of wanting to or needing to communicate that for a source is needed as healing, but very stressed out. What should I do? Oh, my God, I need to something needs to happen here. You know, you may be waiting for someone, you know, be waiting for something, but it's causing a lot of stress. It could be job related. It could be family related. It could be lover. It could be spouse. It could be anything. But what that energy in general is very, um, is very having a lot of anxiety. Okay. Um, and then, you know, the three of wands is like, I'm waiting for something good to happen. I need, to, I need it to, I need an answer. Okay. It's like you're standing in expectation for it to happen. The, the, the page of swords is communication, looking into things. You know, what is it? What is it that you guys are seeing that's causing or making you feel unhappy here? So this is maybe looking within also, but there's going to be a turn of events. How, how do I know that? know that? Because I just, I just do. Okay. <laughs> it will be a turn of events. So we're just going to go ahead and get some more cards here. Here, I definitely see that you guys are, um, whew. At a crossroad, you got some major decisions to make here, Pisces. Okay, and if you are not now, you will. You'll have major decisions to face. I mean, to make. All right, and um, some of you guys are just closing the book on your past, closing your book on friends. You just, you know, you need time to yourself. You need time to think. Um, and this is a perfect time for that. I definitely see. Ooh, this kind of turned over here. Pisces with the Emperor. The emperor here, hmm. I do feel that some of you guys have been in the mix of, you know, betrayal. Remember, this is a positive reading. So I'm not going to read it the normal way. I'm not going to read it the way I normally read it, okay? This is time to make those decisions, take control, and stand firm on those decisions. Because right now, you're kind of like uh, a little indecisive, or you will be. There's going to be some things that's going to make you confused. But, you know, this is, you know, looking like, that's why I said with that page of swords, looking into things, you know, what is it that you guys need to do? Choices, decisions that you need to make to make your life the nine of cups. You want your wish. And that's different for every last one of you. Okay. But things will get better. But that nine, that, but that emperor to me does represent, oh, look at this. That emperor to me does represent um, stubborn energy and sometimes prideful energy. But now with this, this is, this this is um, taking control. Now, some of you guys are in a committed relationship. Marriage, don't have to be, okay? Committed relationship, long-term type of thing or something that you guys have wanted with that. You've dealt with people who have, again, like I said before, have been very dishonest, betrayal, 
But use this nine of wands to your advantage now. Now, what is this? Being very fiery, taking action and, and start to gain control over your life. Remember, we're not reading negative energy. So this is going to be all about you taking control over your life, over you. In order to what? Make that nine of cups happen. Okay. Let's go ahead and get one more card. I'm going to get some oracle cards here. Exactly. Focus on you. <laughs> Building, focusing on you and getting out of this, this type of energy, feeling tired. We, we don't have time for that in 2021, right? Every year, I know we say this, but see, it's just a new start. It's always mental for us. And that's the reason why it's like, hey, it's a new year. It's a reset. It's a restart. So, you know, go in strong when you can kind of feel it in the air. Other people are still are almost still having to having that type of feeling and energy. And you may get other people to help you. Um, but, you know, there is some things that you need to release, some things that you guys have been thinking about um, and some decisions that you have to make. But at the end, you're going to be focusing on you. You're going to gain your focus back. You're going to get your control back. And I love this Eight of Pentacles. So let's go ahead and get some Oracle cards for you. One more for Pisces. Pisces, you guys are going to be doing some big things. No more crying, no more not sleeping, overthinking. Okay. Here, whoo, yes. Ace of Wands, absolutely. What does it say? You're about to have an amazing opportunity. Don't you guys feel good about that? It says, be bold, courageous, and optimistic. Do what you feel passionate about. So you're going to have something that's going to make you feel excited. I love to see the Ace of Wands. Anything that talks about a new beginning is amazing because that, that lets me know there's going to be something that's going to cause you to feel amazing. Okay, and the Ace of Wands could be anything. It could be love. It could be it could be uh, you know your 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 career. It could be anything you want individually. That's going to cause that fire and passion to come up in your heart. Here with the High Priestess, of course, it talks about what do you have to do? Go within, meditate, turn inward to discover your soul's true desire. Here, okay. So you know before you take any type of action, what do you do? You think about it. <laughs> There's going to be some huge, huge decisions that you guys are going to have to make. All right. And you already know. You're kind of thinking about it now. Yeah. Here with the nine of pentacles. Some of you guys are beautiful and single. Okay. Um, so this is talking about choices in love, choices in where you live. But what does it say? Enjoy the fruits of your labor. Okay. Hard work that leads to a luxurious lifestyle. You guys are going to be fine even when it comes down to money. I kind of see that here with this nine, I mean, with this eight of pentacles, working hard, focusing on yourself. And I also feel like there's going to be some, uh, some image changes here. I, I feel, um, with you guys, I feel like it's definitely some type of image change, um, to look good, to have those different types of options that's going to be flowing in for you, Pisces. Um, but yeah, but this is also talk about having self-confidence too. So we're going to go ahead and move these to the side, and then we're going to get some more cards here for you, Pisces. And we're going to pull from the, okay, I'm going to say we're going to pull from the top if they don't come out here. The Six of Springs, this is talking about success, absolutely. Wonderful news is on its way. Success and public recognition. A lot of people have been getting a lot of public recognition. So to me, this is either your job, promotions, or someone. You're going to be getting, this could be somebody as far as your, your person that's going to come into your life. So you're definitely going to be receiving that. And so far, it's only been three signs. And I've done majority of the reads. So there is going to be some type of public recognition here. So really good, really successful. Let's go ahead and get, we got these two, two of autumn. This is just to me, just balance out your energy, Pisces. It says, you know, um, juggling too many, too many responsibilities, having a lot to do or feeling like you have a lot to do. This is saying balance your energy out. Remember, meditate, take time for yourself. It also says, seek out intellectual solutions to your problem. So, you know, a lot of you guys are maybe a little bit too emotional about certain situations. You know, you have to use your brain a little bit. How is this going to work? Is this going to work out a certain way? Just think. Try not to put so much emotion to it behind it. Just think, okay? 
Um, and, and, and also the Prince of Winter also talks about, this is the same as that Prince of, that uh, Page of Swords. So a lot of um, obtaining information. So don't do anything without knowing something about it first. So that even includes buying a car, getting a home, okay? Let's go ahead and get um, two more. So here's this, this, the, la the second from the last. This is the Three of Summer, which talks about celebration, news worth celebrating, announcements, weddings, births. Um, you know, and I think I said this before, I definitely see there's going to be, you know, something that you guys will be feeling very excited about with that Ace of Wands. So, I mean, the Three of Wands, I mean, Three of Cups also talks about reuniting. Okay, but having something to look forward to and to celebrate. Your last one here is the Prince of uh, Spring, which is a page of wands. It says immediate action, change you can success a, a change you can successfully manage or a passionate relationship. So you guys are going to have some things that are going to be going on with you, and it's like, are you prepared for it? I feel like a lot of you guys have been so used to disappointments just because of the recent occurrences, but just know that this is not going to last. You have so many new things that are going to be here for you, um, and that happiness, like I said before, you're going to feel it. That wish you're going to have. So. Uh, Pisces, this is your reading. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Please enjoy your holiday and I will see you guys back here next year. Bye.